Israel. Um, Israel's national poet at the time was a guy called Nathan Alterman. He used to write a weekly op-ed opinion piece in the newspaper. But what was so brilliant about it, this op-ed, is that it wasn't in prose. It was written in verse, a poem that was like summed up what was going on in, in Israel at the time. And during the War of Independence, during what we've been talking about uh, um, all day today, um, he writes and publishes the following poem. Can I read it, right? The earth grows still, the lurid sky slowly pales. Over smoking borders, heart sick, but still living, a people stands by to greet the uniqueness of the miracle. Ready, they wait beneath the moon, wrapped in awesome joy before the light. Then soon, a girl and boy step forward and slowly walk before the waiting nation. In work garb, heavy shod, they climb. In stillness, wearing yet the dress of battle, the grime of aching day and fire-filled night, unwashed, weary unto death, not knowing rest, but wearing youth-like dewdrops in their hair, silently the two approach and stand. Are they of the living or the dead? Through wandering tears the people stare. Who are you, the silent two? And they reply, we are the silver platter upon which the Jewish state was served to you. And speaking for in the shadow at the nation's feet, let the rest in Israel's chronicles be told. This is Nathan Altman's famous poem, The Silver Platter. And it's this harsh criticism of Jewish society living in Tel Aviv, sitting in the cafe, celebrating this amazing moment of the creation of the state of Israel, and they're forgetting the unbelievable human sacrifice that people made so that we can have this state. These two figures that he describes in the poem uh, represent the human sacrifice that was made that we can have the state literally being the silver, they are the silver platter upon which um, the state was given to us. And where we're sitting now is on the steps to a unique uh, military cemetery um, in, 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 in Israel because it's the only cemetery, um, military cemetery that we have that was for, from one um, brigade in the army and one action or one, or, or one operation. It was just from the Harel Brigade um, from the operation to liberate uh, the road and, 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 and the entrance to Jerusalem uh, from 1948. Out of the 1,200 soldiers in the brigade, 418 of them uh, were, lost their lives, were killed in battle. Um, and we're sitting in the steps of the cemetery um, where, where, um, where, where they are buried. Literally it is this was sitting on the steps of the silver platter upon which the state was given to us. Should we go and look and see who the silver platter was? Let's see who the people were. Um, uh, just look at the, the uh, places that they all came from. Jews from all over the world converging on, in 1948, converging to come and fight for this newborn state. I mean, if you look, you have someone from Romania, from Lithuania, a natural born Israeli, um, Bulgaria, uh, it's just this, this pantheon of Jewish history all in one, in, one mass grave. In, in, one, mass, in one mass grave, and, it, it, and it, it's, this, it's, it's this real melting pot. Imagine the different kind of languages that they spoke together. The, I don't know, the, 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 the Yiddish, the, the Arabic, the, the, the Hebrew. And they're trying war. to fight a war with and, this language. And they're fighting a war. And let's look at the ages. Yeah. You look, you've got a 26-year-old. A 20 year old, an 18 year old. All the way to 35. 35. Um, but there's one I want to. Let's take a look at this one in particular. Look, Benny Berala. A, 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 look, and we have no information of him, about him. All they knew about him was his name, Benny, and his nickname, Berala. 
and, and, and just died in a battle. There was no other information. We didn't know anything else about who this person was. And, 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 and there's another one here which really, really, really touches me. Um, yeah, look at this. Yosef Koplovich, the son of Leah and Shlomo David, was born in Poland, made Aliyah in 1948, and died in a battle in 1948 at the age of 17. What does that mean to be a 17-year-old from Poland that makes Aliyah in 1948? Surviving the Holocaust comes here and in the very same year that he makes Aliyah, the very moment this is, this is falls in battle. This is the silver platter. But there's one more grave that I want to show you that I think really signifies the, the, the power of, of, of what all this means. Cool. Yeah.